Hey guys, I know you know what all the rules. Why don't you have a nice clean fight? Protect yourself at all times, I'll be my command at all times. All right, back to the corner, it's ground fighting. So Phil Baroni, he's lost three of his last four fights. A win could put him back on track and restore his legendary confidence and possibly make a case for him to compete for the Elite XC middleweight title. On the other side of the ring, Smokin' Joe via Senor, he has won his last two fights. March 29th, he knocked out Ryan Jensen in the first round. Prior to that, he defeated Ricky Faduka. Shaquille O'Neal not exactly letting up the free throws, and he hasn't had a bad career. So, Veroni may be crazy like a fox. But you got to know all parts of the game, and, and we, we tease. Oh, oh, just missed. And now, Veroni's in trouble. Actually, he connected with that short left hook, Frank, and that sent Veroni backwards. Well, Smoke and Joe is known for his left hook. That's how he got his nickname. He's got a guillotine here. Being stuck in the fence like that is a terrible position for Veroni. He's getting choked by his own body weight. You know, Frank, he will not he, tap up. He's got it awful tight. Capitulate is not in Baroni's vocabulary. Then again, it might not be in a lot of people. Baroni is in trouble. Baroni down and it's over. Spectacular oh, win oh, by oh, Joey Villasenor. Oh, oh, he hit him with a short left hook. And this is over just as fast as it starts. Joey Villasenor vied for the vacant Elite XC middleweight title on the under. Shamrock versus Baroni in June of 2007. He lost his chance at the title then, but what an impressive victory tonight. And 